Recently, as part of the Students' Friendly Initiatives of the LHE Administration, the state government donated a brand new bus to the students of Akanibiam Federal Polytechnic, Uwana, to improve transportation in the institution. Similarly, the government donated three brand new luxury buses to Ebony State University students to cushion their transport difficulties arising from the multi-campus structure of the university. The same gesture was extended to the College of Education, Iko, which got a brand new luxury bus to improve students' transportation. That was in addition to the provision of a 350 kVA generator, the sinking of boreholes, and the construction of an ultra-modern administrative complex in the College of Education, to mention but a few. In the agricultural sector, the Elechi administration has demonstrated uncommon commitment to the maximization of the abundant agricultural endowments of Ebony State for food security and wealth creation. In this regard, such incentives as agricultural loan scheme, bulk purchase and distribution of improved seeds and other crop varieties, along with fertilizer subsidization, have been introduced by the administration to boost agricultural operations. Also, in order to improve the productive capacity of Ebony farmers through agricultural mechanization, the state government floated a tractor hiring service with the purchase of 22 brand new tractors to complement existing ones. Similarly, the administration shouldered the sponsorship of a contingent of Ebony youths for practical training in modern agricultural techniques at the Songhai Center in Benin Republic. To facilitate the self-actualization of the young entrepreneurs through commercial farming, the state government approved a credit package of 70 million naira for the first batch of 25 youths who successfully completed the training in Benin Republic. In addition to this wide range of uh, programs to boost agricultural productivity, the LHG administration embarked on intensive commercial rice cultivation in consolidated state farms across the state this year. This is geared towards using agriculture to bridge its budget deficit, as well as contribute to the goal of national food security. In the health sector, the administration has demonstrated serious responsiveness towards the improvement of the healthcare delivery system. Aware that effective healthcare delivery is only attainable through public-private partnership, Governor Elechi in his inaugural address to Ebony people in May 2007 declared his readiness to financially support young doctors who desire to establish their own hospitals, especially in the rural areas. This is because a great majority of the people live in the rural areas, thereby making primary health care the first charge in health care delivery. Governor Elechi's position was endorsed by the medical community when in a meeting with the Nigeria Medical Association, NMA, on the 13th of November 2007, the leadership of the NMA lamented that the bane of effective health care delivery is the neglect of primary and secondary level health care. Led by the then state president of NMA and currently the national secretary of the Nigeria Medical Association, Dr. Kenneth Okuru Johnson, the NMA urged Governor Elechi to accord utmost priority to primary and secondary health care services. The primary level of care, health care needs to be overhauled. It is unfortunate that we do not have the full complement of health staff at this level as there are no employed doctors. A situation where basic equipment and staff are lacking, whereas we have many unemployed but trained community health education workers of the state should be properly addressed. 